I'm Joe, a travel photographer and filmmaker based in London. I'm passionate about art and design, and I love to explore the world and document my journeys. Today, I'm driving the Mazda 3 from London to Paris as part of Mazda Discovers, a road trip series dedicated to meeting expert artisans and sharing their handcrafts. I'll be taking the car across the channel and then driving through France, taking the scenic route, of course. Mazda's heritage and creativity is based upon Japanese craftsmanship and culture. In Paris, I'm meeting with Nicolas Pinon, an expert craftsman of Japanese lacquerware, to learn how he's brought the art of kintsugi from Japan to Europe. My name is Nicolas Pinon and I am a natural lacquer artist. Uh, my studio is based in the borough of Faubourg Saint-Antoine and I am happy to, uh, to continue this tradition to, uh, to have craftsmen in this side of Paris. I love to do kintsugi. It's a traditional craft of Japan using the lacquer to repair a broken ceramics and give a new life for the ceramic, maybe better than before. The technique of kintsugi is based on the spirit of wabi-sabi, thinking about don't waste things. Every broken ceramic is different. To repair the ceramics, we use only pure ingredients uh, from the hearth. Uh, so the natural lacquer is taken from the tree sap of trees that grow up in Asia. For the glue, we use floor. For making primer, we use a stone powder. Every uh, ingredients that we use are sustainable. For the kintsugi, I use the very thin brush and I love very thin line because I respect the shape of the first piece and I want that in the second life. I love that the kintsugi don't be too present in the reparation. The gold, it's not too shiny. Maybe at the first look that you have on the ceramic, you don't see the kintsugi. You think, oh, it's a perfect pieces, and you, oh no, it's repaired. Kintsugi, it's a very long technique. And natural lacquer, it's a very precious material, and it takes a long time to dry. You need humidity and heat to dry, so maybe for some technique, like gluing, it takes one month. Uh, for drawing lines, you maybe draw five times, six times. You need to have a perfect base to put the gold. The gold reflects the imperfection of the line, so you need maybe two or three months to prepare the ceramics uh, before putting the, the gold powder. After the process of drying for gold and polishing takes maybe two or three weeks too. From the beginning, I love to, to use my hands. This piece is me, uh, this line, it's my line. It's to reflect the spirit of people. Using my hands, it's giving things to other people, but it's giving a part of me. I thoroughly enjoyed experiencing Kintsugi, and I'm always in awe of the dedication to perfection from craftsmen. The passion that translates into a physical product is fluent in all forms across all disciplines. From deep-rooted traditions from Japan to experiences in Europe, I'm grateful to be able to share this opportunity with you.